think it is a privilege to be here with you and to be of service for you. Uh, this morning I will talk on two different subjects. The first one is um, just how to hold a small bird so that you can do an examination and so that you can do some physical procedures. Uh, without holding the animal carefully, you can damage the bird, particularly when it is sick. So what I do is I ask for help from here to God. Always. I ask for help to calm the animal, calm the bird. That's to bring energy through and out through my hands, just to help relax the bird. And some of you saw that last year. And I just remind you that you can do it with practice. The next thing I do is I ask for guidance. I ask for teaching from within. Okay? So, um, that should, is that taking camera or...? or excuse me, okay. Um, the, so we bring, in, we bring in the power of love, universal love, and that is an attitude that I have. I ask for help, I am grateful for any help that comes to me. Then I put my hand into the cage to catch the animal. I project that energy to the birdie, but very often the birdie is my ground. So I use that spread hand like that. And we go like that. And then I've got what's called the chopstick strip. This strip here I call the chopsticks. You understand? Chopsticks. Anyway, um, so this is the first grip that I generally use if I'm using bare hand. Like that. And then um, just have a look at the way that I'm holding the next one, please. I then change my grip to this, this way of holding the bird. And this way, I have got the finger over the head and I am putting the pressure on the bird. Where I'm holding the bird is around here. Notice that my fingers are only very loose here. They're just caging the bird, like a, like a little cage. No pressure on here. No pressing on this part, because the bird breathes this way. And you can kill the bird, make it very distressed if you hold it, if you hold tight here and here. But you can hold firmly here and here. So this is where you can put the pressure. Okay, next please. <coughs> I'm just giving a slightly different view. I've brought my finger forward now on the head. And I am starting to pull the head back so that the mouth is starting to open. So I have, I have stretched the neck a little bit. <coughs> the neck has gone from here to there. So it's now straight. And I've brought the head back a little bit and I can now start to look inside the mouth and I can, with my other hand, I can feel here, I can have a feel that feel for here, I can feel down here, I can run two fingers down the chest here so that I can see if the bird's muscles are nice and rounded or very thin. Um, if the bird is very thin, it is very sick, it's been sick for a long time. If the bird comes in and it's sick but the muscles are nice and strong, then the bird has been sick for a short time, probably. I come down here and then I feel the end of the breastbone from here to here should be <coughs> concave, not, not, not bulging out, okay? It should be like that. 
from here to here in a healthy parrot or a healthy finch that should be older coming in. If it's like that, not good.